All right, guys, what's up? It's the first live of 2021, I think, maybe. Hopefully everybody can hear me. We are live in Steel Creek, North Carolina right now, uh, which is right on the border. There's a big amusement park, like right down the street here. Uh, Carolyn's, if you're familiar, it's awesome. We are live from CMAX Aquarium, as you can see behind me, in beautiful Steel Creek on a gorgeous day. But it's finally nice. Now that I'm all COVID vaxxed and I'm ready to go, I can get out and go back to fish stores. So it's great. We're gonna go in, we're gonna take a look at C-Max. I don't think we've done it live from here before. Might have, I don't remember. It's been a while. If not, the store has been completely redone since the last time I was in here. So we're gonna check out the new store. Which of course, there's an airplane passes overhead. Uh, we're gonna go in, we got Jess on the camera today. Say hi, Jess. Hey guys. And, oh, that plane is loud. <laughs> Of course, right by the Charlotte airport. Nice. All right, so we got Je Jess on the camera today. We're gonna go in, we're gonna take a look, and we're gonna see what the new, brand new, redesigned C-Max looks like. Let's do go. it. Let's go. I'll even let you go first so you get a full, full shot. Such a gentleman. I know. And there used to be a big fish tank right here. A big old tank. It had a bunch of saltwater angels and stuff. And now, everything's been opened up a bit. So we'll start over here. Gotta start with saltwater, right? Of course. Sorry, freshwater guys, we'll get there. We got some scallops. There's some really cool, like, look how tiny this little royal drama is. It's a baby. And some baby neons. Yeah, little neon gobies. These guys are awesome. They're little cleaner fish. They'll pick dead scales and parasites and stuff off your fish. Got some mandarins. Another little baby. There was also, yeah, here, check this out. I almost stuck my hands at one of these things. <laughs> check out, I don't know if you've ever seen, it's a type of bat star called a pillow star. Look at that guy. Well, yeah, I don't know if it'll go so, yeah, yeah, they won't let you go sideways on Facebook it. Lives anymore. Such yeah. a shame. Well, hopefully you guys can see how big he is. The pillow star. Here, hand for reference. He's tiny. <laughs> that's a really cool starfish. Look at that cooler water. I like it. We got a nice water station now. Oh yeah, check this out. This is cool. Self-serve. And look, in case you spill, What's that thing? A conveniently placed cobalt. So we didn't even do this. They did this <laughs> on their own. Talk about other cool starfish. Check these I guys out. I love these Little guys. Little tile stars. They have a bunch there's in here. There's a whole bunch. Yeah, there's another one hiding back there. Oh, look at that. They got a tiger tail cucumber. See it right there? Hiding in the Let's corner see. of the rock. Oh, there he is. Those guys are and awesome they got this sand guy. sifters. And you guys can see him all the way up in the corner. But he is awesome. He's oh, actually he's actually sticking halfway out. I you can't really tell, but he's pretty cool. Of course, some of my favorite fish, the firefish. Those were actually one of the first saltwater fish I ever got was a trio of firefish. And they have some conch in here, which I love having for sand sifting purposes. More starfish. They got a lot of starfish here. Yeah. Chocolate chips. Flame angel in there. Oscillaris. Nice canary. Oh, camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Every time you like, ooh, look at that cool fish. They swim in ice. Ooh, check out the harlequin sauce. He's going to hide. Watch. Yep, yep. There he goes. Oh, oh no. There he is. Oh. There's a puffer hiding in the back, too. Yes. Sorry, there's a lot of glare, guys, but there they are. Ooh, do they have any angler fish in the tanks? I don't know. They've had them before. We'll find out. We can ask. See what else we got in the store. Fine, Chris. Chris, do you have any angler fish? There's been a request for angler fish. I angler fish this week. This is Chris. Hey, He's the C and C Mac. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> We are feeding your food, by the way. Ooh. Look at that. We didn't even plan this. How about that? We're advertising for Cobalt and Lady and Angler. 
like it. Worm medley is good stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go check out the worm medley, see how the fish are liking it. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> let's see, feed in time for some of the tropical fish. Look at them. Yeah, it's safe to say they're hungry. <laughs> All of them. What kind of fish they say they're good for? Anglerfish. Yeah, one of the dope you had the anglers in. No anglers, just a little live. We don't have a live fish or nothing like that. No big predators, huh? Only predator, I think we got some eels in there. Yeah, I saw a little puffer hiding back there. Stuffers. We got a couple of Valentinis, some blue spots, porcupines. We only got some eels back there, probably. We'll check these out. Yeah, of course. Again, they hide. Back behind there. See if you see the see the leaf fish hiding in the corner back there? Let me see. Right, let me see if I can get it. You're too short. Jess is too short. Oh. Look at that. Uh oh. I've been told we keep freezing. That's not good. Hope it doesn't cut out. All right, well, hopefully it Aww, won't cut thanks, out. Thanks, Robert. But Hope if it, it does, doesn't. we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see if anybody knows what that fish is. Oh, yeah, for anybody on the line right, right freshwater now. guys. Freshwater people. Oh, he's hiding behind the magnet. Another hiding one. <laughs> All right. Help us identify this guy. Oh, come on. I'm a saltwater like fan, so I don't really know. But he looks like a type of puffer. He's cool. And he's beautiful. And he's so friendly. Look at him. Look at how awesome he is. He's so happy. And so freshwater people, if you know what that is. Uh, Y'all found my buddy. What is he? That's an avocado puffer. An it's avocado puffer. Extinct now, who knows? He is amazing. Yeah. So we like our puffers around right here. We got a shoot a Dini coming tomorrow. We had one come in last week, but yeah, things happen, you know. And then we got a red eye puffer actually eating their food over here. Oh, nice. Have you ever seen a red eye dwarf? No. Got some rock selection, some nice spider root. Let's check him out. Oh, no, no. Let's see if we can get a good shot of him. Ah, there he is. Wow, look at this guy. <laughs> He is He's awesome. A pretty rare appearance there. <laughs> He's peeking out. It's awesome looking. The Congos yeah, look good. Oh, look at him. I love puffers. How can you not? Their personalities are so amazing. Well, I've done the maintenance on that one there for three years, so I know that puffer up there is three years old. And the customer's <laughs> like, if I ever get rid of him, he's yours. And believe it or not, he chose an arowana. An arowana? Over the From puffer. that? I even tried to talk him out of it, and I was like, you know, I think I wanted to go with you. So now I had to put him up there and not for sale for right now. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I will want to sell him, because I can't get him anywhere, of course. Yeah. I can't get him. Store pet now. Hell yeah. Well, Beautiful little display stuff. tank. Have you ever seen one? <laughs> nope. It's only you that we've had. See it here. from the front. Everybody. Gorgeous little guys. Got another display tank here. Moving into our salt water. Got over here. Been a while since I saw some euphilia. I apologize to everybody. I have a lens on this, but it doesn't look like it's filtering as much blue light as I had hoped. Oh, you got to show the super cool stuff. You're going too fast, Jess. You got to find I'm really I'm sorry. Neat I was apologizing for not having a better filter for this blue light. Let me get the uh, pointer of destiny. <laughs> Look, there we look go. Let's this, point out the cool one. Look at this super cool torch. It's like it's gonna be hard to see, but it's a bicolor torch. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's you can see it. It's got the gold and then a little like purpley looking. Let's see what of else we there's got. there's the big old tallies. Look at these with the dark, dark green and the neon center. Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> Stop coaching the coral. Of course, you got your really cool brains. One of my favorites, war corals. If you need a good low light coral, war corals are great for low light. Of course, the cordius. We're always a fan of mushroom farms. Yeah. A couple of yumas. Good stuff. A little mushroom. Yeah. Love them. I actually picked one up from here a couple yeah. weeks ago. Did you? You sold it So we're doing buy three, get one free today, but <laughs> oh. yeah, nobody really even knows it because I didn't have time to even say well, it. Well, there you go, guys. So buy <laughs> three, get one free from C-Max today. Today Actually, it's going to be all till, till Mother's Day, so I haven't really... Oh, okay. So for Mother's Day, Day guys. So like a, yeah. You're getting a, uh, a oh, look at this little guy hiding in the back there. Yeah, we put the Okay, sorry guys, we lost connection in the back of the store there. Oh, yeah. I guess we can't go too I apologize far from was, London, was from, from South Carolina, North Carolina to yeah. you and London, Robert, but... It's Chris's fault. Yeah. We'll blame him. Blame the ceiling for us. <laughs> I took it off where everyone knew song there, and I took it all the So I'll see if I can get some of those, uh, some other guys in here before we cut out. Hopefully we don't again. Look at this little six line. Oh wait, no, you gotta run back and show them your little bird grass. I do. All right, guys. I'm a big fan of bird wrasses. I don't really know why. I just like the oddball fish in general. And the guy in here. There he is. Oh, there he is. He's picking on the mother, too. Look at I don't know if you guys can actually see how tiny he is, but or she is. But she's gorgeous. It's probably the length of my finger. Beautiful little babies. Got some other wrasses in here. Gorgeous looking guys. Let's see what we got up here. Some more wrasses, some body backs. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm sorry. Keeps cutting out over in the salt water, so we're just gonna move to fresh water. Check out these discus over here. These guys. Rummy nose there. Some big albinos. Big guys. Look at that. That's my hand. Chonky. Boy down here. We can't sell piranha here in North Carolina, but these discus are half piranha. Look at this shit. In case you want to really hand feed your discus. We have some half piranha discus here. <laughs> Thanks to Hans. That's where we get our discus. Discus Hans? Yeah. Ah, we know Hans. Yeah. We know Hans. Quite well. We make his discus food. We do make his food. He yeah. gets a box yeah. from us Guys, every check month. Out, check check out, out the big Hans Geo discus up, here. up there. That's the blue yeah. Oh, here, I'm going to pass this up. Oh, yeah, you're too short. I'm Sorry. I'm too short. That's what it is. What's going on, man? Look at the big Geo. Oh, look at him. He's showing off for you. Look at that. Blue lip. So pretty. Oh, there's another Geo hiding back there. Look at him building this. I don't know if you're tall enough to see this, Jess. I can see through the. <laughs> he's b building his little mound back there. Oh, look at it. Geos are awesome. Oh, I don't know if you showed these off. Oh, yeah. Those, those the albino, albino sharks. They are chunky. Yeah, those are those are chunky sharks. They're huge, too. Even the quarries. The quarries are big, too. Everybody eats well here. Because they're eating all that cobalt food. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, oh. Look at that guy. All right, sick with guys. What is that? Lost him. There he goes. Is that a Venustus? I think it's a Venustus. 
I don't know my cichlids. I think that's a Venustus. That guy right there. I think. Could be wrong though. But I think that's what that is. I always thought the cichlids were so cool. Probably because they are. Oh, they're super cool. Oh, look at these big angels with the glass. Oh, there we go. And look at that, two arowana. Two sword, I only see one. Oh, there's one there and there's one there. See, so there's one there and there's one back there. Look, two. Oh, red devil cichlid, yeah. That's a beautiful one. Yeah. That's really healthy. A great looking cichlid. And of course, Oscars. Oscars. My neighbor back in Charleston used to grow and raise Oscars. Some nice looking ones in there. Ooh, rainbows. Rainbows. These are awesome fish. We've got some rainbows in the tank at the office. As you can tell, they school and they're very active, peaceful, colorful, just great fish. You can get all different kinds of rainbows. Some nice ones. All right, let's hope we don't lose signal. The deeper into the store we go, the less likely we are to have signal. Look at these, look at these little tetras. Yeah. You're seeing with a little yellow stripe on them like that. I have no idea what those are. Oh, glow light tetras. There you go. Glow light. What did you see down there? Terrors? And the loaches. Loaches are amazing. Oh, yeah. Here. This guy. Pass it over. Alright. Gotta highlight these guys. They're awesome fish however you will always need a lid <laughs> yes very important <laughs> made that mistake too many times they look amazing totally need a lid. oh yeah you gotta check this out they just set up these little shrimp enclosures here which have all these new little enrichment you know cubes and tubes and some ceramics for them to climb on and i tell you what these guys just make me want to go out and start a shrimp tank. Look at these guys. Color is amazing. We got some, some more nano fish over here. I like these little ceramics. I think they do as well. Ooh. Let's see if fish is going to get huge. <laughs> So you go from the tiny little shrimp to the red tailed cat back there. Oh, there he is. I got that, I got that bob. That fish will get big. That's a shovel nose. Oh, it's a tiger shovel nose. Yeah, I love shovel those shovel. guys. They're a lot slimmer than the red tails, but huge. they're going to be enormous no matter what. They're really cool. Oh, is it coming out? Nah. <laughs> a little camera shy. Well, there is more to the store, but we'll see yeah, if we there's have. A zone of there's a dead there. zone over here, so we're gonna see if we have any signal back we here. Got all the cool little betas. Yeah, we also have this back end section. We got a figure eight puffer over here who I'm just falling in love with more and more. Got some lobster. Look at the colors on these guys. This guy. Uh, let's see. This, this one's my favorite, I think. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Butterfly Half Moon. He is That's very cool pretty. Fish. Oh, and they got a koi. That is awesome. I mean, beta fish have come a long way in the last couple of years. Ooh, that guy's cool, too. Get in. Yeah, get in. Some nice Please coloration the on them. Oh, this one as well, look at it. Just peeked it off. 
mad I'm disturbing him. <laughs> Gorgeous looking fish. But this guy over here, the Dumbo has already started on his bubble nest. He's got some beautiful colors to him as well. I know it's a little blurry. Well, what's up, Chicago? Ooh, there's chili fish too. Uh -huh, I got a red claw down here. Where'd you see chili fish? We got oh. a pestos. Oh, look at these chilies. guys. I don't know if you guys can see. Wow. We got the uh, golden yeah, chili. Let's see. Oh, looky, looky. Chili fish are awesome. Beautiful. All right. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> All right. I was for sure thinking that this was going to be a dead zone, but possibly not. So we got a variety of little tanks in this corner here. Freshwater tropical fish, community fish, and some Rogers. some not so community fish towards <laughs> the bottom here. We got a wolf fish. Definitely don't want to put your fingers anywhere near those guys. <laughs> Pig nose puffers, some more cichlids. We got the infamous glowfish. Not that they ever need an introduction. I don't know if you guys can see the red belly pakus. I'm super short, so I hope you can. I got Kyle's you. assistant again. A whole bunch over here. Albino quarries. They Ooh, are albino awesome quarries? Oh, we should get that. some of those for the tank at the office. I was thinking the same. Those are super cool. They're awesome looking. They're active little really? guys too. Very active, very healthy looking. Swimming in all corners of the tank. And well, I like this guy quarries. too. Look at the, look at this guy. With the stripes. Uh-huh. Severum of some kind? Yeah. Uh, what do you think, freshwater guys? Is that a severum? Shoulder severum? That's got to be a Oh, well. Look at the tetra just getting in the way. <laughs> There's a rainbow, whatever that is. Oh, yes, yeah, a little rainbow. Look at the spins go up. What good looking rainbows. Really nice. Who was calling me in the middle of all this? Oh, another story. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the front of the store. Got some lights over here. Oh, I know, walking through the dead zone. Well, hopefully we'll make it a quick one. We don't lose signal here. More display tanks. I just gotta show you guys. I don't know if you can see it. This guy is gorgeous. He's got a beautiful green hue to him, but doesn't really do it justice on this camera. Let's see all these guys. A see-through display into the sump and everything. It's awesome. And there's all your dosing. You got it all set up. Alrighty. Everybody, we got tanks set up in the middle here, some foods, and then dry goods, which is where we'll find all the cobalt products. Yeah, we'll walk up that way. Checking out the sections up here. So this is for the saltwater dosing, and looks like they even have some freshwater dosing over there. This is where they have all frozen foods and whatnot. We're gonna sneak over. Hello. Sorry, sneak behind you here. Here we go. That all looks a little bit familiar. Safe to say, C Max is pretty stocked up here. There's what they were feeding the ultra worm. Right there. For a breeder, also a good choice. Very good. Alright. Some ticker pods. I need to go and get some. 
Some USB air pumps. You gotta get the homegrown. Oh, oh yes. Homegrown Fido. There we go. C Max own. Oh, right above it. How about that? How about that? And of course you have my favorite. Only thing I can get my saltwater fish to eat. My absolute favorite aquarium supplement. Sun drop. Sun drop. <laughs> if you're in the south, you know sun drop. <laughs> Very important to have whenever you're doing aquarium maintenance. All right, just do an overview of the store, everybody. Awesome. I think we're ready to wrap it up in here, Kyle. And let's step real quick. Indeed, nice and bright. All right, so there we go, guys. Sorry about the uh, dead zone in the back of the town. But that's C-Max down here in Steel Creek, close to Charlotte, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, Eagle K, everything else in Southern North Carolina. And of course, another plane, perfect timing. <laughs> Go figure. That's C-Max. Um, look for a bunch more live videos from stores now that I'm back stuff and I can get back out and go. It'll be good. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. If you have a store you want us to go visit, leave it in the comments. We'll start uh, getting a list together of all the stores and we'll start doing a bunch of store tours. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you in the next one.